Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate SC Explode space claim add in to explode assemblies. SC Explode is listed as a ribbon tab. Click on this and click on start. And SC Explode has a separate tab that we need to we can rearrange wherever we want. So I shall just put it towards the right side. So we have a full vertical view. The idea is to ha add a uh, lot of configurations in a logical fashion. So this is an assembled uh, configuration. Click on add button. So configuration is added. Next we keep on moving components in a logical fashion. So click on move button. Go to select component option. Select that. S select a component or multiple components and start moving. Once you move click on add configuration so the second configuration has been added like this so we keep on adding more configuration these are the bolts that go beneath this is another block this we can do in two step one is the vertical motion another is a horizontal motion that goes behind so we have total of seven configurations which we can navigate using the browser if we click on play it goes from the assembled state to the exploded state if we play reverse from the exploded to the assembled state these are some of the settings that we can use for the animation between two configurations. One can also modify a particular configuration. For instance, if these were to be moved further, they are already selected. Configuration 2. I just click on this and hit update. So those con changes are cascaded down the line. We can also remove a particular config or insert a new config between uh, two, uh, two configurations. So here let's look at uh, another thing to notice we can also reorder the configurations in this sequence. Okay, So let's look at a video option click on video it lets you create a video record so these are some of the options to select the region to record and these are the animation settings which says you want from first to last configuration or last to first in a loop first to last and then back to first and this is another option where you start from last configuration come to the first and then go back to the last here all the codecs listed in the target computer are shown so Synpack codec gives decent uh, video quality and you need to browse and start recording we can also export this particular image as a screenshot using different file format another good option we have is the explode line if you click on this the lines are drawn which show the direction of explosion so this has been added programmatically all the lines are listed under curves if you make any modifications you just need to delete this and then again click on lines so for the new updated configurations the exploration lines are shown. Another good part about uh, SE Explored is we can uh, open a drawing sheet with this model and uh, let's place isometric view. Here we can still get SE Explored put a tab 
and click on play. So whatever we were seeing in uh, the 3D viewer can also be seen in a drawing sheet. So this would probably give the end user a better idea. So this again can be recorded. Okay. Apart from this, we can also save all this data. Click on uh, exit. After you click on exit, go to save option, click on save. So all the data are saved. Let's go to pedestal bearing again, start. The new data, whatever we had created earlier, are saved for us for further modification. Thanks for watching.